around a simple tea set, you can have a great story. It's a very important way in education. How can we get this message across? It can be through a simple set of materials, just like a tea set. It's about the beverages that goes into a cup, and it's about tea and coffee, but also it's about the sugar that sweetened them. The tea set was one of many used in a pop-up cafe that was run during the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Members of the public were encouraged to come in and have an open discussion about Scotland's role in transatlantic slavery. I think it's important to be in this building so that people can look at that tea set and actually have some idea of their history. My name's Jude Barber. I'm one of the co-creators of the Emperor Cafe. There were literally hundreds of cups, quite a large number of teapots. And there were also plates and um, smaller espresso cups. I'm Louise Welsh. I'm a writer. I'm professor of creative writing at the University of Glasgow. And I'm also the co-creator of the Empire Cafe. What yeah. was the Empire Cafe all about? Goodness, what well, was connected to the Commonwealth Games, wasn't it? We were very conscious that uh, Commonwealth was being celebrated, the Games were being celebrated, and that people were coming to the city from all across the world. And we were putting a, a great uh, presentation to the world, but we thought it was also a point that we should be looking at our, our history um, and the history of Scotland's involvement with slavery as well. And partly, it was also the Empire Cafe formed part of the cultural programme. We thought it would be remiss to have a cultural programme that didn't, you know, entirely address the subject matter, um, particularly when the Commonwealth Games were historically the Empire Games. And um, we just felt there was a place within that programme to have that kind of national conversation about Scotland's role um, in the slave trade. I think a lot of people don't realise that Glasgow has this very significant history. The general consensus always is, why hasn't anybody told us this before? And I guess that's part of the tension, isn't it? Because you want to be proud of the city, there's many things to be proud of, but we also have to remember where these things came from and why these buildings are there. We commissioned poetry from Caribbean and Scottish writers in the end, we had an anthology of 20 poems, half from Scottish poets, half from poets in the Caribbean. Each cup had an extract from a poem by, uh, from this anthology on it. We wanted people to perhaps be having their tea and think, oh, what, what is this? The Empire Cafe tea set includes a teapot three cups and saucers and an espresso cup and saucer and all of those cups are printed with extracts of poetry from Scots and Caribbean poets. There's also a plate that completes the group. The tea set marks a moment in the 21st century where we came to find out more about Scotland's slavery past and the way that it shaped the Scotland that we see around us today.